What's up, y'all? How's everyone doing today? And today, I want to see who are the best brothers in the league. So, don't mind this, because I low-key did record with my mic muted, and we're already a season in. But I, I tried to, like, make most players a 40 overall. I basically bombed. But as you see here, I just want to see who the best brothers are in the league. Starting with the Thompson twins with Amen and Asar Thompson, the Curry brothers with Steph and Seth Curry, Ball brothers with Lamelo and Lonzo, the Antetokounmpo brothers with Giannis, the Nassis and Costas, the Lopez brothers with Brooke and Robin, the Martin brothers with Caleb and Cody, the Holiday brothers with Drew, Aaron, and Justin Holiday, the Morris brothers with Markeith and Marcus Morris, the Herman Gomez brothers with Willie and Juan, aka Bull Cruz, and last but not least, the Gasol brothers with Pal and Mark Gasol. Now what it will be doing for the first season is I'll be simulating them and seeing what teams have the best record and the four worst teams will end up getting eliminated and then for the next thing they'll end up doing a 2v2 or 3v3 to see what brothers are the best and that's how we'll find out anyways hope you guys enjoy as none of this matters but a crazy stat line 45 and 38 from Giannis these guys don't matter none of this matters Really, all we want to see is the standings. The playoffs don't even really matter to us, too. As, oh my god, so Charlotte <laughs> lost one game. So sadly, the Morris brothers are getting eliminated. Um, I guess they both really couldn't do that much to, to keep their team afloat. Well, honestly, they did do pretty good, 56 and 20, uh, 26. But um, yeah, when, when you're going up against all these stars, you kind of can't really like keep up. And the next brothers to get eliminated are the Lopez brothers. Sadly, um, I guess wasn't able to get it done. Brooke Lopez could only do so much. Robin Lopez, I mean, isn't the greatest as they went 58 and 24. Surprisingly, the next team to get eliminated is the Curry brothers going 67 and 15. But wait, there is a three-way tie. Hold on. I didn't even peep that. So the tie between the Curry brothers, the Herman Gomez brothers, the Thompson brothers. If already having two of them out and then deciding between these two, well, Actually, low-key, we might as well just take out these two right here and then keep the Thompson brothers because, um, yeah, sadly, this, uh, this ain't it. Damn, Curry averaged 44 for nothing. I, I guess they just couldn't get a rebound, so I guess they didn't really do too good. But then, yeah, your best brothers were the Gasol brothers. Leading up next to them were the Pro brothers. Then, right after that, surprisingly, Caleb and Cody Martin put on a show here, but... Maybe they just had some good, I don't know, good role centers. I don't get it. I don't get how this team won 70 games. And then the next team to be really good were the Holiday Brothers, then following up with the Bob Brothers. And this is what the bracket is looking like with Gasol and the Kung Pro Brothers both getting a bye. And then our first matchup will be the Holiday Brothers versus the Bob Brothers. And I have a special treat for y'all. As I will be adding Leangelo Ball to the team, just because they can at least have the 3v3. I didn't add him to like the, the roster when I did the simulation because he's not gonna do any good. He's only a 72. And to start off, the Bob all brothers did have the ball and Lonzo takes it straight to the basket and dunks getting them the 1-0 lead then Aaron Holiday tries to put it up misses Lamella ball ends up getting in the rebound and then just isoing up here just looking for the shot and I was really disappointed in the Holiday brothers as Leangelo pulls a three and greens it which I was talking shit about him and yet he ends up just coming out here and putting on a show leading the team already but as you just see this, look at this. This was the Holiday's uh, like offense. As you see there, Le uh, Leangelo misses the shot. But just a bunch of this, just posting up, looking for somebody to get open. And I was so disappointed in Drew Holiday. I felt like he at least could have done so much more. Even with him having uh, Lonzo on him, I still felt like he could have done something as LaMelo gets a post up and makes the game four to zero. As yeah, the Holiday brothers were just disappointing. And Justin Holiday ends up getting them their first basket. So at least they didn't go out with the skunk, but it was just just like, what was I watching? I mean, I get it, Aaron and Justin aren't good, but for Drew Holiday to just to sit there and not do anything, and Leangelo ball dunks the ball, and that's game. And the Holiday brothers are officially eliminated, and that means the Ball brothers are moving on though, but to face the Gasol brothers, which I don't know about that one. But for the next matchup, it will be the Martin brothers versus the Thompson brothers. And for this game to start off, I would say just right now, it was 10 times better than the Ball brothers versus the Holiday brothers. 
brothers. As you see here, Kayla Martin trying to post it up, gives it to Cody Martin. Cody Martin gets the screen and just gets a free lane right there, making it 1-0 for the Martin brothers. Now with Asar Thompson dribbling the ball, or that was Amen, excuse me, then gives it to Asar with the dunk, now making it 1-1. And just the thing was, was that this game was a lot more competitive and just, hey, there was a lot of back and forth. As you see right there, as Kayla Martin with that nice little shot, Eamon Thompson now makes it 2-2. Now Kayla Martin trying to dribble the ball, looks for something, puts it up, ends up missing, then they end up getting the rebound. Eamon Thompson dribbling, looking for something, can't find anything. Gives it to Asar, Asar with the pump fake, tries to dribble to his left, spins, drives to the paint, still doesn't get anything, gives it back to Eamon, Eamon with the pump fake, and Eamon with the right-handed, now making it 3-2 Thompson Brothers lead. But Caleb had other plans, getting a nice layup to the rack, tying it right back up to 3-3. Now Eamon with a nasty spin move, gets to the paint with ease and lays it up, making it 4-3. As if they, the Thompson Brothers can get a stop here and score, they will win the game. But gives it right back to Caleb. Caleb posts up Asar. Asar does have good defense if you guys are watching the Summer League, which I am so excited for them to like actually play. Gets his own rebound and scores, making it 4-4. Then Eamon Thompson would just, yeah, just, just if you give him that, that is too easy, making it now 5-4. Kayla Martin trying to work Eamon, gives it to Cody. Cody with the jab, Cody to the right, Cody step back, Cody to the right again, Cody step back, lays it up, now making it 5-5. The next person to score two points here does win as Asar sizing up and dunks all over Caleb, making it now six to five. Now, if that was for game, that would be a lot cleaner, but it's not. Caleb Martin with the putback up to Cody, but they played good defense that whole 40 seconds and they get bailed out by that, making it six to six as Asar tries to take him to the basket. Up to Eamon, Eamon with the layup, misses. The Martin brothers get the rebound, gives it to Cody. Cody sizing up. Cody with another weird layup like that and now makes it 7-0, which they have now the lead for the first time this game. Eamon Thompson with the ball, dribbling, trying to look for something. Ends up getting to the basket and misses. The Martin brothers could win right here on one score. That's all they need. Gives it to Cody. Cody gets the screen from Caleb. Cody with the spin move. Cody to the basket and dunks it, and that is game. And the Thompson brothers are officially eliminated. And your Thompson brothers are officially eliminated. Now, going into the second round of the matchups will be the Gasol brothers versus the Bob brothers and the Martin brothers versus the Akankpo brothers. And we're going to start with the Martin brothers versus the Akankpo brothers. And for the next matchup, it will be the Akankpo brothers versus the Martin brothers. And Giannis gets a screen from Thanasis, then dumps it off to him pulls out, then spins and gets the layup right there, making it 1-0. Akunpo again with the rock, dribbling to his left, and just gets an easy lay, and I feel like that was the problem for the Martin brothers. It's just, pause when I say this, the size of the Akunpo brothers is just too much to handle, and honestly, that's like what Giannis is, pause, too much to handle. But as you see there, he makes a miss, then Thanasis posting up, spin move, Gives it to Giannis, gets the screen from Thanasis, then throws it to him, loses the ball. Cody Martin tries to put up a shot, misses, gets cold. Tries to do, I don't know, this this offense was so weird, but it ends up scoring right there, making it 1-2. to two. Then Thanasis with a nice layup. And honestly, Thanasis didn't get carried, which I really did think he was going to. He held his own. As you see there, look at he gets, oh, I lied, as he misses. <laughs> then a Kung Pao just yams it. And then this is when I knew it was kind of over. Just the size of Giannis is too much for these Martin brothers to handle, and that's game. As now the next matchup will be the Gasol brothers versus the Ball brothers. I will say the one thing that the Ball brothers don't have is size, but they do have the dribble moves. But these Gasol brothers, they know how to post, as you already see Mark Gasol right there. But speaking of, look at, hold on. Paul Gasol was dribbling that rock, hold on. As Mark Gasol, Takes a 10-footer and greens it wide open. Already 1-0. Let's see, because he... I don't know. Lonzo might be able to hold Paul, but, like, I don't know about Lamelo's defense is that good. But he's tall, though. As Lonzo trying to iso Gasol. <laughs> I mean, Paul Gasol. No, they're both Gasol. <laughs> Gives it to Lamelo down in the paint. Lamelo posts up. Has a nice floater and puts it out on Mark Gasol. I didn't think that that was going to go in, to be honest. Score is now 1-1. Paul Gasol takes it to his left. Good defense by Lonzo. Stay in there. Oh no, this is where, yeah. 
He made a miss. Wow, no, that was just wide open. That, that was all Pau Gasol's fault. Lonzo gets the screen from LaMelo. Passes it out to LaMelo. LaMelo for a midi, and that's in, making it 2-1. If he would have took one more step, that's a two right there, which low-key might be crucial, but let's see. Mark Gasol takes it out. I don't know why they're not posted. There we go. I guess they were just setting up the play. Pau Gasol with the fade misses. Honestly, this is, this team's playing so buns. Hold on, but it's 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 too soon. It's too soon. Labello, left right to the basket. Oh, almost made the 100% spot. The Saw Brothers have a chance here to tie up the game or take the lead, but I don't think they're shooting threes. As Pau Gasol gets a wide open lane right there, making it 2-2. Bonzo takes it to the left, puts up a weird shot, but it goes in though. Three to two. Hold on, why are these Ball Brothers kind of tough? This would be a crazy upset if the Ball Brothers can win this. Mark Gasol, down in the paint, pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, and gets it right open right there. Three up. Come on, Lazo, let me see some. Oh, gives it to Lamella. Melo, pump fake twice. Takes it to the right. Ugh. Oh my god. Bro, these ball brothers are making it difficult. I want them to win so bad. Come on. Mark Gasol, doing, I don't know what this is, but uh, go steal the ball from him. Come on, Lazo, show us your defense. Oh, that is... Oh my god, Pau Gasol's terrible. <laughs> Two wide open shots he's missed. Come on, Lonzo. Oh yeah, you got a healthy knee, so you got this. Oh no, that's not the shot. That is not the shot. Mark Gasol, trying to take it to the basket. That's good defense. That's just a better offense. Four up, so now it's first to six. Post up, give it to Lamelo. What is the shot, Lonzo? Oh my god, Lonzo's taking him out the game. Oh no. 5 4, the Gasol brothers. No way. No way they sell this. Lamelo, get in your bag. Oh wow. Come on. No, that is not your bag. Oh my god. Come on, what's that, boys? We've gotten it done before. Why am I acting like, like I'm the Ball brothers? Like, I don't care who wins. Double pump fake? What type of shot? And now for the final game, it will be the Gasol brothers versus the Akankpo brothers. The final game for all the marbles. Yo, marbles? What am I, like 70, bro? Who says that anymore? Anyways, Pau Gasol dribbling to his left, puts it up on Thanasis, misses, gets his own rebound, pump fakes, puts it up again. That's just a good bucket, getting your honest to jump and then putting it on Thanasis. You can't do much about that. Thanasis wants the ball, posts up, gets in the triple threat, gets to his right, lays it up and misses. God, that was just an ugly shot. Honestly, the Nassus needs to know, just give it to Giannis. Pau Gasol. Got low key some good defense by Thanasis. Puts it up on Giannis on Microsoft. Misses. Giannis takes it to his left and just yams it. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to stop that. Pau Gasol posting up the Nassus. This is low key, that's the matchup that they're gonna need to win. If they wanna win this game, and then the, for the opposite, it's gonna be Giannis on Marc Gasol. But the Nassus is just not that good, so. That's what I'm saying, if anybody's guarding him. It's, you know, free buckets. As the Nass is trying, yo. Oh, what the, what, what is the shot? Yeah, I guess the Nass is just prime Curry. Uh, and then Andrew Bynum on defense. Giannis, stop giving up the ball. The Nass takes it to, yeah, what? What am I watching? Oh, wow, that's just terrible defense from Giannis. And it's now 4-2, the Gasol brothers. Thanasis gets Giannis, right back to Thanasis. Thanasis puts it up and scores, making it three to four. Is it crazy that Thanasis is carrying Giannis right now? I mean, not on defense, but come on. This is the matchup that I like to see. Oh my God. Yeah, if he were to hit that, yeah, that's game. Oh my God, Pau Gasol is on the floor. Thanasis, take advantage. That is not taking advantage. Giannis in the post, puts it up, gets smothered. That was great defense. Giannis choking, Giannis getting carried, and that's game, wow. And to answer your question, the best brothers are the Gasol brothers in the NBA. But honestly, I would give it to Giannis and them, just because the Gasol brothers, they're both retired. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, have a great day.